Hello children. Good morning everyone. So this is your Priya ma'am English teacher from Alpha Group of Institution. And welcome back to our English e-classes. And today we are going to discuss lesson 2 Banka. So the children this is a story about a small child, small boy. Which is really a heart touching story. Okay. We are going to discuss regarding lesson 2 Vamka from the English Literature book. So let me summarize the story in a short. Okay. First thing, this story Vamka is adapted from Anton Chekhov's story. So this story was taken from the adapted Bye. 
So read this heart-wrenching story of an elf boy who writes a letter to his grandfather devoting to him his suffering at the hands of his master. Find out the name with which he writes the letter. So this is the heart-wrenching story of a small elf boy who writes a letter to his grandfather devoting about his suffering at the hands of the shoemaker. Okay, now find out the naivety with which he writes the letter means naivety means lack of experience, wisdom and judgment means this boy doesn't have any experience in writing a letter, this is the first time. So without experience and without any knowledge of how to write, this boy is writing a letter to grandfather. So this is all about the story, about this story, okay. Now the paragraph begins. It was Christmas Eve, nine-year-old Vanka, who had been apprenticed to a shoemaker for almost three months, waited for his master, mistress, and the senior apprentices to leave for church. No sooner did they leave than he ran towards the cupboard. He took out a bottle of ink and a pen with their rusty nail. Then glanced anxiously at the door and window. He spread out a crumpled piece of paper on a bench and knelt on the floor to write. Means here, Vanka is a nine years boy. Vanka is a nine years boy and he was a present to the shoemaker. Vanka was a present to the shoemaker means a just joining to, joining for your work and also what they will be learning how to do the business or how to do the, if he is joining to the shoemaker, then he will learn how to prepare the shoes, okay, how to make the shoes, how to, how to mend the shoes. So apprentice means a person who learns a trade by working as an assistant. They will work as an assistant, they will join their work as an assistant and later they will learn the trade and after that they will come to So slaves are different, workers are different as well as apprentices are different. Okay. He was joined as an apprentice. But what happened here is that shoemaker is not treating him as an apprentice. He is just making and treating him as a slave. They are making him to struggle
brightness of the light of the candle is like the smiling face of his grandfather. So his grandfather is small, lean, with a smiling face. The same way the candle is also small, lean, with a lighting on the top. Okay. This is how he resembles and how he is comparing the candle with his grandfather constantly. Now, his grandfather was a night watchman. He was a night watchman in a very big house, in an estate, in a village. So, his grandfather is staying somewhere in the village. This boy is staying in another place, in another place. He was joined as an apprentice in the shoemaker in another place. His grandfather is working as a what? As a night watchman in a very big estate. Very big estate is very big house. They during night time he used to do the watchman duty, security work and in the day time what is work? So all the night he used to walk round and round the estate because his work is there. And during day time he has no work so he will just sleep at the back of the kitchen. He will take rest in the back of the kitchen. Sometimes at times when he is not getting sleep he will just go into the kitchen and sit with the maids and cook. There will be some workers and cook will be there in the big big estates, right? So he will be chatting with those maids and cooks and he will be logging. He will be marking back jokes. He will be bursting jokes there with those maids and cooks and he will spend his time. So his daytime will be going like how either sleeping
At this very moment, screwing up his eyes to look at the light streaming from the church windows or walking about in his heavy boots in the cold. Or maybe he was passing around his snuff box as usual.
order to the letter to write. Last week, the mistress told me, for yesterday I was given such a beating. The master grabbed me by the hand and brought me out into the yard. He bent me, he bent me to the stirrup strap because I fell asleep while rocking the baby. Last week, the mistress told me to clean the fish. When I said I did not know how to, she was so annoyed, she rubbed my face with it. The other apprentices laughed at me and sent me for a rest all the time, making me steal the master's cucumbers. Master invariably catches me and beats me. And I am always hungry. It's always bread day. Gruel and more bread bread. Okay, bread again. I never get any of the tea or cabbage soup they have. I sleep in the passage. The baby cries all night and I have to rock him. In the morning, I am always tired. Dear grandpa, take me home. I can't bear it here anymore. So here is the heart wrenching content which is start which has started in the letter. So at first he was wrote, started the letter as Dear Grandpa, Kastanka, not Kastanka, okay, uh, Konstanti. Dear Grandpa, Konstanti, he started the letter, I wish you are, so he, you are healthy and safe and I pray for your good, I pray God every day for you Grandpa because I don't have parents, I am an orphan, I only have a is you. All I have is you only Grandpa, so I am always praying for you only. And later he thought about the grandpa. Now in this letter he is saying that, Dear grandpa, yesterday I have been given a, such a beating. I have given a, such a beating. I got beating yesterday. Because my master, my master grabbed my hand. He just grabbed my hand and dragged me out into the yard. The yard is outside. He just grabbed his hand and pulled him outside, dragged and thrown him in the yard. Why? Because I spent asleep while rocking the chair. The baby is sleeping in the cradle and his work is to rock the baby. While rocking on even he is a small child, right? He's just nine years. When 
church windows or he might be walking he may be walking here and there round the estate in that cold with the heavy boots or he will be carrying his snuff box and snuffing and he will be sharing everything all the whoever may see him he will be sharing his snuff either even the dogs also will be given snuff and this kashtaka when it is given snuff it sneezes shakes it and it go away from the place but here this eek fellow he will get the snuff and sneezes and let it again he wags his tail and stands okay now he is and he is thinking about his place that always his place is filled with fresh and clean air the roofs are all covered with white pure snow all the chimneys emitting smoke and the trees are covered with beautiful silvery snow in the moonlight and the clear sky is showing the clear structure of the bright sparkling stars this is the description of the village how he is imagining later he starts entering writing the letter and in that letter is saying grandpa yesterday i was given such a beating grandpa because i slept while rocking the baby immediately my master noticed me and he started beating me with the stirrer the strap leather strap started beating me he grabbed my hair dragged me and thrown me in the yard and again mistress what she did she asked me to clean the fish when i said i don't know how to clean the fish she rubbed my face on the fish and all the other apprentices laughed at me they mocked at me i i really felt shameful grandpa and this apprentice also has given me so much work like errands just making me to be walk here and there here and there so many works and they always make me to steal master things and whenever i say master used to catch me and he again beats me and i was not given proper food i was always given bread and grains and bread fed the only the gruel the porridge but they have they are not having tea and coffee so in this cold weather i always stay in rest of the passage there is a walk a passage for walking in the house in that passage only they will make me to sleep it is very cold i don't have anything to cover myself i don't have anything to eat the whole day i will be working in the home for master mistress and the other apprentices and during night full night i have to rock the chair i don't have rest either during the day or and the next day when i am doing all the work in the night and it's when feeling very tired and not able to do the work again i was getting beaten so i am not able to bear this torture still more please grandpa save me from this house come and take me to home back i am not able to survive here i am not able to work here i am treated so badly here i want to come there i want to go home please come and take me so this is the sad thing which our vanka wrote in this story this letter uh, it is not completed still we have some more content but the time is up now so today we will uh, uh, end this session with this uh, two with this uh, two pages tomorrow we will discuss in the next session the another two pages so let me read the synonyms which were collected from these paragraphs first one is snuff box a small container for snuff snuff box a small container for snuff tranquil peaceful serene tranquil peaceful serene stirrer a loop with a flat base attached to the side of the horse saddle for support stirrer a loop with a flat base attached to the side of the horse saddle for support errand a small job that involves going to collect or deliver errand a small job that involves going to collect or deliver gruel liquid food of oatmeal boiled with milk or water gruel with what liquid food of oatmeal boiled with milk or water so the lesson is divided into two halves today we have discussed the first half of the lesson two one half and tomorrow i mean not tomorrow in the next session we will discuss the second half of the lesson okay children today you will be given the an activity everybody must and should do the activity clearly don't post the class notes in the group post only the activity content in the group and then the 
PDF, the classroom content which we are giving you, you have to copy that in the classwork. With every day you have to mention the date. Even if you are writing only the synonyms, write today's date and enter the synonyms. Tomorrow the next session when I am giving the question answers, enter the day's date and enter the question answers. Okay? The every line, the heading should be given double line. And for every question you have to note for synonyms. For question answers, draw your line. For every Roman, if you complete the uh, every Roman, you have to draw double line. So maintain the presentation skills today. Don't get spoiled. Don't spoil yourself by playing video games or things. Obey your teachers, obey your parents, and obey your duties, your own duties and responsibilities towards the parents and teachers and also education. To withstand in this competitive world. Okay, children. So with this, we have completed today's session. And let us meet in the next session. And this is Priya Ma'am signing off from Alpha Group of Institutions. Thank you, children. Yes, children. This is your today's activity. Children, before explaining this, let me tell you clearly. Don't post your classworks in the group. Classworks, we will ask you, we will give you a date to submit so that you will be submitting that day for correction. We will correct it manually, not in the mobile. You have to submit only the activities. Many of the students are not submitting activities. Okay. So, don't do like that. Only activities attendance will be entered. Activity submission report only will be entered. Okay. So, you have to do the activities and submit. Without any file. And today's activity is find out the meanings for the following weather words using dictionary. Weather words means these words are used to showcase the weather. These words are used, these are the names which we use for different types of weathers. So dew, snow, snow is different from dew. Dew means water droplets in the morning on the leaflet, leaflets you can see. Ice is different, sleet is different, hail is what, frozen ice, mist is different, storm is different, okay. So, all these are related to the weather, the cool weathers, but everything is having different meanings. So, you have to find the right meaning from the dictionary and you have to do it as an activity. Enter, you have to maintain a separate notebook for assignment in that in every page you have to, I mean whatever activity we are giving and mention the date and the activity number also. And then write this, the question and the answer, the help of dictionary. Okay, write both and submit without fail. Okay children, so this is your today's activity. Thank you children.